Hello, in this tutorial we will see how to use the real constant for a 2D problem where we are having a plane stress with thickness. So let us begin. So first uh, I will clear whatever the things you have. You need to add uh, element type, element type for 2D plane 42 you can add. Now you can go for modeling. Let us say I am creating one uh, 2D two dimensional rectangular object. So, I am let us say I am creating uh, length 100 millimeter with 50 millimeters. So, 0, 100, 0, 50. I can go for apply. You can see that it is a plane with length 100 millimeter and with 50 millimeter. Now, I can go for uh, meshing this one. First, I will mesh the line. Let us say it is 15 and let us say this length I am meshing with 30. Now, I will go for the mesh tool area quad mapped. So, this has been meshed. Now, I will add real constant. So, when I will go for go, go for adding the real constant, you can see that there will be a error. So, you can see that that key opt is not properly set. So, you have to change the key opt. So, how you can change the key, op key option? So, you can come to the element type, then come to the add and delete elements. So, whatever the element type you have added, plane 42 it has came. Now, you can select this one and go to the option and here you can see that the key of 3 you can you need to change with plane stress with thickness. You can see there are several varieties of problem is there, but for 2D plane stress with thickness you need to change this one. Okay, close. Now, you can add the real constant. So, for real constant set 1 I am adding thickness as 5. Okay, close. So, now you can see that uh, the plane it is not having thickness, but I have added thickness in real constant. So, you can see that thickness by here you can go to the plot control, then style, then size and option. You have to click this box on, then you can able to see. Okay. So, now, I can add some material properties. Let us say I am doing this analysis for steel. So, 210 e to the power 9 and poison ratio 0.3 density I am adding 8600. Okay, close. Now, I need to provide the boundary condition. So, let us say this side I am fixing and this side I will give some load. So, n cell comma r comma p box. So, this side element I have fixed, uh, I have selected. Now, I will add define load apply structural displacement on nodes pick call because this has already picked. So, all degrees of freedom it has been added. So, you can see that. Now, I will apply some load in this side. So, before that I need to select alls then n cell comma r comma p. I will select this side node okay. and I will come to the loads apply structural and then force or moment on nodes p call let us say I am giving force force in x direction in positive x direction. So, constant value 10 I am putting okay. so you can see that the force it has been added. Now, I can solve this problem solve current solution okay. So, solution is done now I can plot some results. So, I need to read the result first set and then plot result nodal solution. Let us say I am plotting the von Moise stress. So, 
So, you can see that the von Neumann stress it has came 1.5. So, now if I want to solve this problem with changing the thickness, so what I need to do? I need to change only the real constants and then I can rerun this model again. So, I will come to the real constant, keep it minded that it is 1.5. So, how it is changing? I will come to the real constant and edit the set 1 and earlier I have kept 5. Now, let us say I am putting 10. So, thickness it will become 10, it will become double. Now, I, this thickness it has become doubled. Now, I will solve this one again. So, solution is done. I will plot the result. Let us say I am plotting again von Moise stress. So, you can see that the von Moise stress it has been reduced because thickness it has increased. So, by this way you can use the real constant for 2D uh, problem where uh, you can use the 2D problem with the plane stress with thickness and you can use n number of uh, real constant depending on your problem.